Well, it appears The Flash did another episode. Yes, another one, because believe it or not, still going, still going. Apparently Batwoman is finally done, despite Twitter versus, you know, screaming and gnashing of teeth. But uh, but The Flash goes on. The Flash will have yet another season. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, Superman and Stargirl can't do it all. Yes. But, um, so this episode was reckless because Frost was reckless because she wanted to, uh, you know, stop the uh, Black Flame entity that's been killing people, you know, just burning them to a crispy critter. And uh, so you can understand why she's like, hey, we got to put a stop to this because now, well, you know, it appeared the original uh, uh, obsession or a uh, goal of the Black Flame was to uh, burn people who are uh, really depressed, I guess. I mean, I, I, earlier on, it was just to frame that other flame guy. <laughs> you know, I guess those guys were depressed. I don't know. And then, of course, Chester, was uh, he hadn't fully dealt with the death of his father. You know? So uh, that's why the Black Flame was after him. And then, um, you know, he managed to, to beat it, and the Black Flame was like, ooh, and disappeared. Well, now the Black Flame's all interested in Frost. Well, she's not depressed. She's, she's got a new boyfriend and all that. Yeah, it's not great. But anyway, that, that's the situation. So it's like, why, why is it after her? Well, it really seems to be interested in Frost. Uh, because I don't know, she's the polar opposite or something. Polar opposite, get it? Tee hee, tee hee, because you know, she's cold and the black flame is hot. Well, no, not so fast. Uh, so th they stumbled upon the idea that it is uh drawn to her uh freeze powers and whatnot. So, uh, her would be mom, you remember her, that's Caitlin's mom, but. As a result of Frost just suddenly coming to an existence because Caitlin had a, a split personality that now has its own physical form. That is not the story of Frost. By the way, her name is Killer Frost. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she was a villain. Yeah. But, of course, this version, version of Caitlin for the show is just so sweet and nice. It's hard to believe how she could become that... Well, she could have had the writers uh, done their due diligence in crafting a, a, a believable, incredible narrative that would explain how sweet Caitlin could end up becoming Killer Frost. They didn't do that, so they just slapped in this BS about a, you know, split personality that now has her own body somehow. Yeah, I forget how, but anyway, there it is. So anyway, uh, meanwhile, uh, Mommy, uh, Carla, uh, decides, hey, you know what? If we magnify Frost's powers, it'll draw the entity in, and then you can either destroy it or, or trap it or whatever it is you guys do. Uh, well, uh, Caitlin's like, oh, that's so dangerous. That's terrible. And Barry's like, oh, no, that's too dangerous. I, I won't allow it. And they said, well, we think we should try it. All right, let's try it. So uh, they do, but it's reckless because it nearly uh, gets Frost killed, you know, and uh, she gets injured, so it doesn't quite work out. Uh, but it's not really about that, you know. Uh, it's about uh, Carla. She needs to show that she accepts Frost as her daughter. Even though the girl she raised was Caitlin and everything, and Frost just, you know, showed up about, you know, what, a couple of years ago. But nevertheless, uh, of course, Carla, as you recall, there was a lot of distance between her and Caitlin because uh, Carla, well, she just wasn't good with emotion and stuff and uh, just uh, was a bit... How should we say it? Oh, I know. Cold. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> well, guess what? Turns out uh, she has freeze powers, too. <laughs> because he says, oh, well, I guess it runs in the family. Yeah, I guess that'll work. Because that's all we can do is guess. Uh, it's just slapped in there because the whole thing was their father had done this or well their father i mean caitlin's father uh, because it turns out he was icicle and on and on and on and uh experimented and whatnot but i don't recall if he had done the experiments about all this stuff uh like when caitlin was in utero and, and carla <laughs> she's carrying us then that would make sense that it you know it, the offshoot of it affected uh carla's uh, dna as well so she has these latent um 
uh, uh, ice powers, but they just don't go into that, you know. And I kind of forget. I did something about Caitlin because she was upset with her family life and her not feeling loved by her parents or whatever, or certainly mommy. Uh, and um, that's how she created the identity of Frost. <laughs> and um, so I, it, it doesn't matter. It's not the real story, but uh, that's what they did. And uh, But it just turns out, as luck would have it, um, mommy has powers to... Uh, they're very weak, but uh, enough to uh, to boost the, the the freeze power signal uh, to draw in the black flame. Because now, now they have some sphere that they're going to trap it in. You know, like what the Ghostbusters do. So uh, they do that, and Carla's eyes go white and all that. But oh, she's getting scared. This is she's never been in this kind of danger before, you know. And the black flame appears. And they almost got it. They almost got it. It's almost working. But then Carla starts to have a heart attack. So they got to uh, stop it all. The black flame about nearly destroys her. But uh, Frost saves her. And then later on, uh, well, it escapes. So they're going to have to try something else later. But uh, 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 Carla and Frost, you know, I want to get to know my daughter. Aww. So there you go. See, they, they, the, the real problem was solved. I mean, they, <laughs> some monstrous entity killing people. But, you know, we dealt with that. Meanwhile, Caitlin is visited by the Black Flame. Oh, no, why would it go to Caitlin? She doesn't even have any powers. And for all we know, she's not depressed. So what the hell? Well, can you guess who the Black Flame is? It's really the ghost of Ronnie Raymond. That's right. Her old uh, love from way back when, who was the original Firestorm. Say, why would they do this? Well... A while back, there was some rumor that they might pursue uh, the Black Lantern story from uh, some time ago, a crossover event for DC Comics. And uh, what that is, is uh, they came up with this uh, this uh, uh, god of death or whatever, uh, produced uh, black rings that uh, resurrected dead people. Uh, and they had, as long as they had these rings, you know. So all the dead characters and superheroes and whatnot came back uh, with these rings. Now, some of them some kind of way fully resurrected so that was their means by bringing dead characters back and back but anyway it was discussed that that's how they would do it and possibly they would have green arrow come back but he'd be like a, a zombie version of green arrow <laughs> with the black ring and, stuff. and uh, of course out of this uh, came death storm which was sort of uh the you know that was the black one well, that sort of it was the you know the zombie version of ronnie raymond uh, uh, came back and um uh, uh, so I'm guessing that they're doing their own little watered down ass backwards version of it. <laughs> so maybe this is going to end on a cliffhanger for next season's, uh, you know, a crossover event or whatever later in the fall or something. And uh, it'll be terrible because all the crossovers are terrible and uh, they probably shouldn't shouldn't bother, you know, but uh well, they're going to bother. You know, you would have thought that the stupid Armageddon thing was enough because it was really stupid and bad because the only Armageddon was just some building caught on fire in the future. And that was it. And they had to avoid that, you know. But, well, whatever. So, so there you go. Uh, the real story was the mother and daughter get together and, uh, oh my God, it's Caitlin's old uh, dead boyfriend come back from the grave. Well, I mean, he's killed some people, uh, if it's if you're going to consider that him. But maybe it's just he didn't know what he was doing, you know? He was searching for something. And uh, it's, 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 it, it, this is really sloppy delivery on this. It's really terrible. But it's not what the story was about. No, it was about the mother and daughter. And, by the way, it's called The Flash, so Barry Allen uh, had something going on in it. <laughs> It doesn't really become the Flash. He zips around and stuff, but he doesn't put the suit on or nothing. Um, turns out Iris is still wherever she is. I forget where she went and found that uh, girl who had phantom powers or whatever and was looking for her mommy. Well, uh, they find her mommy, and uh, but uh, she, but before that she did that, she told Barry that oh I, I've got uh, time problems because you know Dion the god of time came and said. That, She's causing time to fracture around her. And we got to figure out how to fix this. And then Barry's like, what can I do? Nothing. Go home. So he goes home and he's all upset. So he gets 
overly upset about uh, Frost. So, of course, Daddy Joe comes in and they're talking about why he's all upset about Frost being bait for the Black Flame. And uh, Barry says, oh, it's dangerous and I just don't feel it's right. And, all this, uh. and then Joe delivers. <laughs> oh, that tired old uh, soap opera line. We're not talking about Frost now, are we? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's Iris. Yeah. So uh, Iris's eyes uh, keep turning green and it fractures time. So uh, they cut back to where they find the girl's uh, mom and they, uh, they they meet and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't want to give you up and all this type of stuff. And uh, it seems to be going all right. But then suddenly Iris's eyes glow green. And the girl's mom just disappeared. <laughs> so, great going, Iris. <laughs> so, uh, that's a problem. And the Black Flame's a problem. So, I don't know. Maybe they're going to reveal that Iris is a Green Lantern. Huh? Yeah? But then the green stuff's supposed to be about time. So, they should have just let John Diggle, who was revealed to be John uh, Stewart, just be the CW's Green Lantern. I mean, even if he didn't get his own show, he could do, you know, his guest spots that he did do. And he'd be Green Lantern. But, I don't know, they're just so weird about Green Lantern while we're supposed to be getting that HBO Max series. I don't know when that's coming out. Seems like you would have heard something by now. Hmm. But, um, I don't, yeah, whatever. So, then they could, their Green Lantern stories, like the, the Black Lantern story and all that, that 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 would work well it wouldn't because it's cw yeah yeah never mind so anyway there you go reckless for the place so i think there's only two more episodes left oh man already oh <laughs> yeah i guess i'll watch those two see you then